Okay, so I got a question today on um, why am I going to get legal advice um, about an issue I've got with an insurance company? You know, sh surely I can just do the spiritual work and not have to do that. And I am a Course in Miracles teacher, and it, the Course in Miracles does talk about magic as well within the Course in Miracles. Um, and also one of, one of my teachers, also uh, David Hawkins, who also gives uh, another framework of um, seeing the levels of consciousness. So, the, you know, I'd say on a certain level, when I'm try in my head, in fear, trying to control a thing and getting frantic in my thoughts, the level of consciousness is very, very low. And, uh, and so... Uh, it's very low, and it actually blocks miracles and blocks light, and actually tends to make things worse because there's just too much fear and too much thinking. So it's almost like having the opposite effect. It's taking, making the situation even darker. So that that's the worst situation. So generally, I might start cancelling beliefs or praying to surrender stuff uh, vigorously, or going to the observer, whatever it is, or uh, listening to some uh, Hawkins DVDs or whatever it is to raise the consciousness. So as I'm raising the consciousness, you know, the point is not to be in my head worrying about it and thinking about it or being in the fear, whether it's using the field of feelings, the cancelling beliefs or, or surrendering or observer, whatever tool it is, to start transcending. So what's then happening is I'm going from a very low level of consciousness, like this fear around an insurance problem, and the consciousness level is gradually rising in relationship to that perceived problem even though there is no problem in truth, it's just a perception from the ego that seems to think, believe that that thing is a real thing in the world. So you rightly say, well, it's not a real thing, you can just cancel it. Well, the thing is, as you start cancelling it, and as you start praying or doing whatever the tools are, the consciousness is gradually moving up. It doesn't, mm. it doesn't usually go up like you just do one prayer and then you're blissed out and, the, the, and, and there is no ego. It's usually a gradual releasing of, of the perception of the, of, uh, the seeming uh, uh, fear-based idea that's being latched onto or, or identified with. So as the consciousness level, uh, as, the, as, as the fear leaves and the thinking leaves and the belief starts dissolving, it's like the consciousness level is gradually going up. You know, and as it goes up, this seems like more light and more miracles are coming in slowly, you know, to try and help resolve the problem. But obviously, there's not like I'm going from tremendous fear to absolute amazing bliss in one go. So it's like at each level of consciousness, you know, it's like the orchestration of miracles is coming in dependent on the level of belief there's still there to holding on to the illusion, if you like, or the idea that seems to be real. And so as the, as the, as the level of consciousness increases, uh, automatically um, solutions tend to pop in that could resolve it. Now you could say these are magical, and in truth the whole thing is magical. The whole perception of duality is, mm -hmm. is magical. But with, yes, but within the illusion, at a high level of consciousness, where one is not in such great darkness, it seems like, you know, maybe uh, it seems like a good idea. Uh, there's less thinking that, oh, you know, I can speak to that legal advisor or I go to a group and they say, well, you can see it this way. So we, and this is all magical and it's all illusion anyway. Mm. But, but it's kind of, you know, it's like um, that's, that's, that's the light or what's available at the light that can come in at that level. Yeah. So... It's practical, let's use the word practical, to take advantage of what's being offered as one is doing the spiritual work. You know, you, and, and now you could say, you could play devil's advocate, and there's nothing wrong. I'm not saying there's a right or wrong answer for what the spiritual students are doing. I mean, you, like you could say, like, uh, I'm not saying this is wrong. You could say, I'm not going to take any magical aids. I'm just going to cancel it like a lunatic. And either God's going to get, you know, either it's going to get solved or it's not. You know, and, and I'd say take my hat off to you if you want to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, uh, 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 and, and, and sometimes you have to. Sometimes the only option you've got is just to cancel and pray or just mm -hmm. observe. 
and, you're not, and the, you have no availability to any kind of magical solution, mm. in which case then you have to, or sometimes you might choose that as a pathway. You might say to, to the divine, I'm just going to sit here and cancel it. I'm not going to take any magical aids because I want to get there and I want to get that advanced and I will not buckle down in fear or even take any magical aids because I don't believe in any magical aids. And, you know, I'd say that that's very advanced. That that's showing a lot of dedication to face all your fears and not touch anything that's magical. You know, no, no thank you to the legal legal help. No thank you to the people in the group trying to offer you different ways to handle it. Mm. No, no, don't. No thank you. I'm just mm. going to sit and cancel. Mm. And sometimes that's the right thing to do. It just depends on the student and the context of the situation. Mm. You know, it is to refuse all magical aids. Um, and, but for some, then it would be in some sense you would take the magical aids because it's like it's it's how grace can come in at that level of consciousness I'm at. So it, it's like taking availability. So it takes you out of the the suffering of the illusion, but it's all an illusion. It's not real. Uh, you quite correctly said, actually. Now here's the thing: at the absolute level, when you let go of the belief, the problem cannot exist mm. because. Uh, if you can't see the problem and it doesn't exist in you, it doesn't like. Like let's say, uh, let's say I don't like. Uh, every time I see, um, I'm actually you know I go to twelve step fellowships for food addiction, like donuts. You know, if um, it could be like I'd get tormented if I saw donuts because I'm trying to avoid them. Uh, but if it's if the belief is totally cancelled. And there's no belief there in donuts. I won't see donuts. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. like even if you put a plate full of donuts on the table, even though I had a traumatized effect, a response to donuts, if the belief is not there, you know, mm -hmm. it's impossible for me. You know, even if you put the donuts in front of my face, you know, it won't, there won't be a problem. You see, so the problem is the belief. You know, I mean, like you, belief in the body. Mm -hmm. If you have zero belief in the body and zero belief in your thoughts, well, you're not in duality any longer, so there is no problem. It, when you're a, when you're beyond form, form cannot cannot make non-form suffer. Form has not got the power to make that which is beyond form suffer. Only if I identify as form can seemingly another uh, perception of form seem threatening. So, so belief is thought, yes, so, so one is suffering an illusion. So, um, so I'm trying to answer that, yes, it is magical, if I take mm. legal advice, it is magical, but it, um, it's, it's, the, it's, it's the thing of what's the intention? I mean, you could say it's a form of lazy spirituality if I take the magical aids. Sometimes, you know, if you're really advanced, uh, some people do do that, you know, it's like I, I refuse all magical aids. Uh, and uh, and either either God comes in, and sometimes God will come in. So, oh, well done. <laughs> you, I, said, <laughs> I gave you help from all, but you said no. Okay, you're going to get sudden enlightenment. So it can be like that. So that's the answer, I think, to the question. Thank you.